Actuators, what are they? By definition, an actuator actually moves something, a damper, a door, a roof, etc. In the valve man world, an actuator opens or closes a valve. This could be any kind of valve, from a ball valve, butterfly valve, plug valve, etc. Actuators in the valve world are usually either pneumatic or electric. Pneumatic, referring to air, we need to have clean, dry air so that we don't damage the interior workings of the actuator. If pneumatic, we need to know what air pressure will be available to us to that actuator. We will also need to know if the application requires a fail position. If you do require a fail position on loss of air to the actuator, you will need to specify an SR or spring return pneumatic actuator. If not, you can use a DA or double acting pneumatic actuator. The double acting will fail in place on loss of air pressure to the actuator. Both spring return and double acting will need a solenoid valve, a small electric valve, to be energized to allow air into the pneumatic actuator. You will need to specify the NEMA class, either NEMA 4 or 7, and the voltage, typically 110 or 24 volts VDC. There are also electric actuators. Electric actuators typically fail in place. However, electric fail-safe actuators are available, but are very, very costly. Electric actuators are not nearly as fast as pneumatic actuators. When specifying an electric actuator, we need to know the voltage and the area class, NEMA 4, 4X, 7, 120 volts, 230 volts, etc. Hopefully this little tip will help you when you are specifying your actuators for your valves. Thanks for watching.